Before I get started here, I want to mention that I will be using Node.js and NPM to run the demos and install the Johnny5 framework. So if you don't already have these tools installed on your computer, you will need to do so in order to follow along with the examples. All right, now even though I will be demonstrating how to control an LED using an Arduino, the JavaScript code will actually be executing here on my PC instead of the Arduino itself. I will go into more details in the next lesson as to why that is, but just know that for an Arduino, or similar type of microcontroller, Johnny5 actually runs on a host machine tethered to the microcontroller. The communication with the microcontroller can be through a USB cable, which I will be using in my demo, or wirelessly through Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. Now all that being said, I will need to install the Johnny5 framework here on my PC, which is where the Node and NPM tools come into play that I mentioned just a bit ago. So to get started, I will first load up PowerShell here, and then migrate into my demo directory. Okay, now here I will create a new folder called J5 that will house the demos, and then CD into that. Awesome. Now I'm going to install the Johnny5 framework using the Node Package Manager, and there are a few ways which I can go about this. I can just simply install it to this local directory by calling npm install johnny5. I can also add the dash g flag, which will install the framework at a global level so that applications and other directories can utilize it as well. And I can even store this package in a local file called package.json using the dash dash save option, which will save the package information as a dependency in the file so that I can distribute the configuration for my Johnny5 application without having to pass along the framework module code itself. Now I really don't intend to deploy or redistribute this application, nor do I need to install it at a global level, so I will omit the dash g and dash dash save options, which will result in the Johnny5 framework module being installed to my local demo directory. All right, it appears to have installed properly, along with all of its dependencies, so let's take a look at what was just pulled down. If I run ls here, you'll see a node modules directory, which is where all of the npm packages, including Johnny5, are stored. Listing the contents of that directory, you can see that there's a Johnny5 folder there, which contains all of the framework source code, as well as a number of other directories. These other directories correspond to Johnny5's dependencies, which are pulled down automatically when you install the Johnny5 package. Now I'm running version 3.10.2 of npm on my PC, but if you're using any version older than 3.0, you may only see the Johnny5 folder in here. This is because the npm developers reworked how the dependencies are stored starting in version 3.0. In earlier versions of npm, the dependencies are installed in a subdirectory, also called node modules, of the package folder you specifically installed. So in this particular case, you may see that you have a single Johnny5 folder in here, but within Johnny5 should be another directory called node modules that contains all of its dependencies. So don't fret if your node modules folder does not look exactly like mine here. As long as you didn't see any errors during the installation of the Johnny5 package, you should be good to go. All right, now listing the contents of the Johnny5 folder, you can see a lib folder which contains the source code for the framework. I'll just quickly browse the contents of the lib folder to see what goodness awaits me in here. Now you can see a number of different JavaScript files corresponding to different components and devices with which Johnny5 can work. You can work with an accelerometer, buttons, LEDs, which I'll be using here shortly, relays, etc. And if you're curious as to how each of those work, I encourage you to open up each of the files and take a peek at the source code. Of course, you can always browse the source on GitHub as well if you prefer. Well, it looks like everything is there that needs to be, so let's move on to see how to configure an Arduino for use with Johnny5.